this video we are going to talk about the abdominal part of esophagus like uh, you know esophagus is divided into uh, so let me draw it so for example this is esophagus the first part is uh, cervical part okay and the middle part is thoracic part and the lower part which is below the diaphragm actually so this is diaphragm so below the diaphragm this part is called abdominal part so first if you have a basic idea of this uh, different parts of diaphragm now we can proceed so mainly today our main concern is about the abdominal part of esophagus so that we are talking about this part of esophagus which is below the diaphragm so let us mention this as diaphragm okay so below diaphragm you have abdominal part this is like just you can see 1.25 centimeters so very small part and it enters the abdomen mainly by opening of diaphragm which is situated at the level of t10 vertebra so if you see at the level of vertebra it is at t10 level so it is slightly towards the left side you can see this is right side this is left side so if you see mainly it is uh, opening from the left side of the uh, diaphragm at the level of t10 slightly to the left of median plane so esophageal opening uh, also transmits anterior and posterior gastric nerves so it also so first we are discuss it's 1.25 cm next it uh, transmits anterior and posterior gastric nerves okay next the esophageal branches of left gastric artery or uh, along with its veins so mainly left gastric artery plus you can write veins because they are respective veins so all this uh, are like near to this esophageal part of uh, sorry abdominal part of esophagus right so the these veins actually the veins which are present here near to this abdominal part they are uh, drained partly into portal and partly into systemic circulation so here veins they drain partly into portal vein and partly into systemic vein okay so they also accompany the left gastric vein and the left gastric vein drain into portal vein so we had discussed before the left gastric artery along with its vein right so here you can write that left gastric vein drain into portal vein okay and others drain into hemi esophagus uh, in thoracic cavity and continue to vena esophagus and superior vena cava so it's a site of porto systemic anastomosis so that thing you need to remember so what i said uh, some other veins okay you can write it others they drain into hemi esophagus and they continue as vena esophagus and next they enter into superior vena cava so this is a site of porto systemic anastomosis in the name itself you can see porto systemic means between the portal vein and systemic vein there is anastomosis okay anastomosis okay actually the esophagus runs in the uh, it runs left to the left crest of uh, in front of left crest of diaphragm so it's better to write here left crest of diaphragm okay and of inferior surface of left lobe of liver plus inferior surface of left lobe of liver so you know here starts the cardiac end of stomach so esophagus exactly ends at cardiac end of stomach at uh, t11 vertebra okay and 25 2.5 cm to the left of median plane the right border is continuous with the lesser curvature of stomach so the esophagus right border is continuous with lesser curvature you know this is lesser curvature this is greater curvature of stomach so the right border is continuous with lesser curvature of the stomach 
but the left border is separated from fundus of uh, stomach by a cardiac notch so here comes a cardiac notch so you know here it forms a fundus of stomach so it is divided by means of cardiac notch and peritoneum covers the esophagus anteriorly and on left side so uh, let me write it down so for example this is esophagus of abdominal part it is covered anteriorly by peritoneum and also by left side but right side there is no peritoneum so if you remember uh, we discussed that uh, this uh, transmits the anterior and posterior gastric nerve right so in that the anterior gastric nerve mainly contains the left vagal fibers so anterior gastric nerve contains left vagal fibers whereas uh, posterior gastric nerve have right gastric uh, right vagal fibers okay so this is very important anterior gastric now have left vagal fibers posterior gastric now have right vagal fibers and uh, this uh, each gastric now is mainly represented by one or two trunks actually they represented by means of trunks and they also combine few sympathetic fibers from greater splanchnic now so sympathetic fibers of greater splanchnic join with the gastric uh, anterior posterior gastric nerves so now let us also include the clinical anatomy here okay so what is in clinical anatomy related to it we already discussed that uh, lower end of esophagus is related to portosystemic anastomosis right so if uh, the portal hypertension in the case of portal hypertension uh, what happens is because of this uh, anastomosis uh, is present in lower end of you know our esophagus it opens and it leads to varices that is called as esophageal varices so because of this varices what happens there is hema uh, hemo there is hema hematemesis what is hematemesis that is nothing but blood vomiting okay blood vomiting so this is the first clinical emotive point and second one is sometimes actually what happens esophagus always it does not open or close according to the foot uh, it will open or close but sometimes because of some neuromuscular incontinence what happens is sometimes esophagus fail to dilate if it will not dilate then the foot may not go below right so this will lead to uh, you know uh, like difficulty in foot passage so that is called as dysphagia so dysphagia you can say difficulty in swallowing so what happens in this condition is now uh, the esophagus is dilated a lot increase in dilation and it may due to collection of food increase in food collection okay and you know lower end of esophagus is also prone to carcinoma esophageal carcinoma why because you know like acid reflexes regurgitation from the stomach because of that there is a charge a chance of esophageal carcinoma or ulcerations because of regurgitation of regurgitation of acid from stomach okay so regurgitation means you know the back flow of uh, food uh, from the stomach towards the esophagus lower end of esophagus so there there is a chance of esophageal carcinoma and ulceration mainly in the lower end of esophagus so in the lower end of esophagus you have this condition and also you have this hematemesis where there is esophageal varices because in the lower end of esophagus only there is uh, you know our anastomosis so because of that pro, 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 porto systemic anastomosis whenever there is high portal hypertension esophageal varices may form and lead to blood vomiting and also there's a chance of esophageal carcinoma and ulceration so by this we are completed uh, about abdominal part of esophagus and also we understood the clinical anatomy now let us once check out the real diagram of this so this picture shows a real diagram so this is a pharynx and you can see this is esophagus it is a cervical part it is a thoracic part because there's heart here and this is an abdominal part 
so which is like just only 1.25 centimeters